Hi, right, man. Since y'all were so interested in the uh, EDC upgrade, I thought I'd show you the next step. I went ahead and got the holster. Hold on one second and I'll show it to you. All right, so I got an Orpaz, it's called. And I'll admit, I got it because it was made in Israel, like the pistol. And it says Jericho on there, right there. It's labeled with the... Uh... Uh, here, I'll look over here and show it to you. It's labeled with the... Uh... I'm just that silly. All my tools tend to match, too. But what I really liked about it was I want a retention holster because I will be honest with you, and, and I don't think I look on channels are. Twice I've had a pistol fall out of my holster. Actually, three times I've had a pistol fall out of my holster. Uh, once was that home. No, I've never had one fall out of the homemade uh, holster, but uh, uh, I've carried Mariah's little Ruger sometimes in a non-retention holster. And once I was running across a parking lot because I'm a child and I was excited, and it bounced out. And another time it got caught underneath a, uh, a railing and I walked away and it pulled out. Uh, so I won't have non-retention holsters anymore going forward. Those were two very humili humiliating episodes. So I wanted a retention holster, but I didn't want one with the thumb, uh, the, th the pointer finger release. Because I watched a, a video years ago about this guy and he was very honest too. And, and he was showing, <laughs> he shot himself in the leg practicing his, his he was doing quick draws. Uh, in 1911 and he had it you know locked and cocked and uh and he he went to grab it and he grabbed it and he he pushed down on his release button on his retention holster and then as he pulled up his finger just went into the trigger guard but he was tensed up and it was it was a very fluid motion and and his finger went into the trigger guard and he shot himself in the thigh he and he was an experienced shooter he was he was honest about it and i admire him for for being honest so I wanted a thumb release. Uh, I, I like the ones where you push the release in as you pull up. I'm not as big a fan of this one where you, this thing is empty. You're, right, you're pulling the pistol up on this one and pushing down at the same time. And so your motions are working against each other. Uh, but it seems to work well. When I first got it, I don't know if you can see this little half moon. There's a pin on, on the end of that. It's a plastic pin and it was out. It was just in the bag and I could not get the thing adjusted. You know, there's an adjuster screw right here to see how, uh, you know, how tight you, how much retention you want. And no matter what I did, it, it wouldn't release with the thumb thing down. And then it would just pull out with the thumb thing up with the release button. And I finally figured out what that, that, that thing had just, that this little half moon thing had just fallen out. I slid it back in and, and then it was easy to get it adjusted so that it, it won't pull out, but it comes out pretty easy. I might still play with it some too. Uh, I'm not gonna, I, I, I just now, this is the first time I'm really doing any shoot. I just did like three or four shots before we did this just to play with it. Uh, I don't have a belt on, so I'm not gonna really try to, to hoss around with it. But I just wanted to show you what it, it's gonna look like and we'll do a couple shots. I'm not done yet. You could get this one with a magazine holder on the front of it. This is bigger and bulkier than it is over here, and that's an unnatural motion. So I've still got to get a magazine holder, and I might just go with the, if the Orpaz has a standalone, I'll, I might do that. But uh, I have not made up my, my final mind about that. Uh, a lot of you pointed out that you know, the spare magazine is not about extra ammo as much as it is about, you know, if there's a, a malfunction and you've got to drop the magazine anyway, it's faster to, to drop the mag and, and grab the new mag if you have a double feed, if you have any kind of malfunction that requires you to remove the magazine, it's faster to just drop the, the magazine in the, in the pistol and pull out a new one, you know, clear the, clear the malfunction and then just pull a new one and then try to retain that one that you had to drop to begin with. Uh, I, that, that is, that's not an inconsiderable, not an inconsiderable consideration. Oh, man, I drive myself crazy sometimes. But, uh. We'll do a shot. This is not a range report on either one of these pieces of gear. I was just giving you men an update. I will tell you one thing about this pistol that it is, and I don't remember this about the other one I, I had, because I've, I've had one of these before. It is difficult sometimes to, uh, to rack the slide. Uh, it is, here we're going to do it again. It's not an inconsiderable consideration to rack the slide on this thing. Uh, I intend to carry it, hammer, I want to do the hammer on half cock, safety on. I know a lot of you don't like safeties on carry guns. I'm sorry. You know, I think it's a good idea. Uh, 
it's just one little step to keep things from getting weird. Uh, and and I, I think that's a, a training issue that if you always practice with it safety on, then you, you will, you know, you'll be able to compensate for it. We'll do a shot real quick. I haven't even really, I, I meant to zero this thing. I have, we haven't even really zeroed it yet. So nobody judge me. Gun daddy, don't judge me. Got your earplugs in? Mm-hmm. Let's see, safety's on, we're on the half cock. Let's see how this does. Oh, <laughs> we shot that one earlier, so it's not under pressure. The bullets are just going right through. Let's see if I can hit it at the top and knock it over. I, <laughs> all those hit, I'll show them to you in a second. <laughs> that one hit too. Finally. Here, before we stop the camera, let me go get that and show it to you. <laughs> All right, well, I can't find that one, though. But I could see the holes in it when I was shooting. It just wasn't knocking it over because I'd already depressurized it. The bullets were just, those full metal jackets were just shooting right through it. So there we go. We got the ore paths retention holster. Is that a level three or a level two? I can't remember the levels now. I think a level three is when it's got a strap over the top. And I think this is a level two retention. I'll look that up. Uh, we still got to get a magazine holder, but we are now in the modern world with the, uh, look at that. I re-safed it and everything. You see, there's a training solution to every hardware problem. And, so there you go. That's what we'll be carrying from now on. We appreciate you, man. Thank you.